2019 Annual CWU Conference. Well, let's get it going. Hi and welcome to this episode of the Forum. My name is Scott Haslam and I'm your President of the Leeds No. 1 Amalgamate Branch of the Communication Workers Union. Our videos include trade union related tutorials, interviews and news like this one so if this is your first time watching or haven't already please consider subscribing and hit the bell symbol to be notified when we upload future videos. And yes, you heard me correctly, I am your newly elected president. May I take this opportunity to thank everybody who voted for me and that now the work begins. So last week, your branch delegation attended the annual CWU conference in Bournemouth. The postal conference started on Tuesday and ended on Thursday. We, as a branch, had submitted three motions. I moved the first motion that calls for advanced driver coaches and reserves to meet the varying workloads through throughout the year, check out my full speech and the whole debate in the YouTube card at the top of the screen here. The second motion unfortunately was timed out, but the motion will be referred to the Postal Executive to act on. This calls for an additional sign-off at a national level prior to recruiting external contracts. Now for the record we are not against recruiting externally, but, but it has to be done in line with existing agreements and where internal applications have been exhausted first. Dave Hutchinson moved the third motion that called for a training programme to address the shrinking pool of drivers in area distribution, or the 7.5 tonne licence holders. I second this motion and the whole debate can be viewed in the YouTube card at the top of the screen. Vicky Turner, our women's officer, moved the motion on behalf of the Women's Advisory Committee that called for a one-day course to be developed on women's issues in the workplace to be rolled out amongst Royal Mail managers and reps in the field. To watch Vicky's speech, click on the YouTube card here. The conference had some great debates, not least the emergency motions submitted by the London Division and the Postal Executive themselves. Motion E2, moved by Terry Pullinger, reaffirmed the four pillars agreement in terms of growth, protecting the USO, and application of the agreement being Group Y, and that no new growth pipeline forum had been set up, although Rommel had agreed to do that. The motion went further by confirming that a final agreement on the growth pipeline will be put to a special postal conference. In terms of revisions, The RDCs, War Bundling Centres, Mail Centres and PAD and National Network Reviews will continue under the current guidelines, but for other functions, revisions should be based on structural integrity, the ability to do the job in the most efficient and logical way that makes sense to those who do the job. Local units should be empowered to give the best resourcing and operational structures that enable daily clearance, highest quality of service and the ability to take leave. The motion finishes on the instruction to ballot for industrial action should no agreement be made or executive action is taken. Motion E3 was moved by Martin Walsh covering the protection of the USO and the six day service from the real threat posed by Ofcom to postal workers and the public as they pursue the unagreed metric of gross weighted items per hour. Here are some views from our conference delegation about the conference. Well, Mick first, first time at conference, I found it very informative. I actually loved the debate inside of it where uh, against the top table when motions and policies were carried or not carried. Absolutely fantastic week and learned a lot. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and please share us with your friends on social media. Remember, unity is strength. Thanks for watching.